my name is Neharika and welcome to a new lesson. Today we are going to look at some vocabulary related to an aircraft and while you are aboard. Now most of us have been on an aircraft before and there are times when we get a little confused to use the right words. Now of course all the international airlines, the staff of the international airlines speak English. So it's important for us to know the right words, right? So in this lesson, I'm going to help you with the same. Let's have a look here. The first one is to board or to embark. Now, of course, when we are traveling by air, the first thing after you have checked in and after you've gone through your immigration process, the first thing that you do is you board an aircraft, right? Especially when you hear these announcements at the airport when they say that the flight so-and-so is ready to board. So this means that you are ready to go on the aircraft, okay? So you begin your process to enter the aircraft. So that is to board or to embark, okay? Then we have cabin. Now, the moment you enter the aircraft, you see the cabin. The cabin is the interiors of the aircraft. Okay, so it's the interior of an aircraft. Then we have a flight attendant. So when you enter the aircraft, there's this beautiful girl who welcomes you with a big smile and says, welcome aboard. So this lady is the flight attendant, okay? So she is the one and other crew members are the people who are gonna help the passengers during the flight, okay? So they will be there for your assistance. So they have different words, of course, commonly called as flight attendants. The girls, okay, are called air hostess, whereas the men are called stewards, okay? And we all, and they're also called as cabin crew. Okay, so they are the ones who help the passengers during a flight. Now we also have aisle. So after the lady has welcomed you, the first thing that you see in the aircraft is the aisle. Aisle is the open space that you walk through to find your seats, okay? And in any aircraft, you have a window seat and you have an aisle seat, okay? So the window seat is, of course, the seat next to the window. Especially children would often go for window seats because they like seeing out of the window, right? Now, of course, we have aisle seats also. So the long passage in between the rows, now of course you have aisle rows in a theater, in a supermarket and in aircrafts, okay? So it's the long passage that you walk through. So the seats next to the aisle are called as aisle seats, okay? So many people prefer aisle seats, right? And of course we also have middle seats in an aircraft. If it's a huge aircraft, then we have middle seats also, which usually I don't prefer because it's not not too comfortable okay so these are the types of seats that you have on an aircraft now let's have a look here we have overhead bin now overhead bin are these compartments where you can store your carry-on luggage okay so you have these laptop bags or your small carry-on bags that you carry when you walk into the aircraft so you are supposed to store this in the overhead cabin okay so it's right above your seats okay so these are called as overhead bins or overhead compartments okay then let's have a look here we have galley now galley is a place where all your meals are stored okay the flight attendants uh, prepare or the heat the meals that are to be served to the passengers okay so that is called as a galley and we also have a cockpit of course cockpit is the most important part of the aircraft it's the control room for the pilots so the pilots and of course the pilot and the co-pilot they sit in the cockpit in order to control the 
aircraft okay it's really interesting as a kid i used to be really inquisitive to go see what's there in the cockpit it's just so bright and several buttons it's really interesting so that's a cockpit and of course we have the pilot and a co-pilot they're also called as captains okay so they are the ones who control or who fly your aircraft okay so they are the ones who take all the risk okay of course aircrafts are risky i mean at least i find them a little risky so they are the people who take care who fly the airplanes okay so pilot is the main captain and whereas the co-pilot is the assistant to the pilot right so these are the things that you would see in an aircraft and now let's have a look at some more vocabulary so now let's have a look at some more vocabulary here we have taxing now what is taxing now many a times you might have seen on the screens at the airports that the flight is taxing flight so and so is taxing so what exactly it means well it means that the aircraft is slowly moving on the ground okay and goes to the right position the right area especially to take off okay so the flight moves around the air on the ground and it goes with the runway okay so that is taxing out now taxing in is when the flight lands okay and then it moves around the airport on the ground and comes to a position where people can disembark okay well people can deboard the flight right so that is taxing now we have takeoff now once the aircraft reaches the runway it's all ready to take off okay so it, it catches real high speed and it goes and starts flying it just leaves the ground the wheels leave the ground so that is a takeoff and many people go through motion sickness okay they really feel sick to their stomach right they feel like uh, puking or they just feel really dizzy so that is called as motion sickness in fact many children also go through that and you might have also experienced wherein your ears pop in and pop out right so it just kind of you can't hear things so that is also related to motion sickness okay then we have to cruise now once the flight is taken off okay it's in the air it tries to get at a higher altitude okay and once it is at a steady speed the plane starts cruising okay and that is when you would hear the signals wherein you can unfasten your seat belts okay you can move around you can use the washrooms okay so that is when the plane is flying at a steady speed so this means that the plane is cruising okay then we have turbulence now you know at times the plane really gets a little shaky okay and uh, i usually get really scared when the plane does that okay so it gets very bumpy so you would hear the pilot announcing that uh, we are experiencing some turbulence so please uh, get back on your seat and fasten your seat belts okay so what is turbulence now turbulence is when the winds are not smooth okay they're really chaotic they're really rough so that is when the plane gets really bumpy so the right word to use is that the plane is experiencing turbulence okay then we have a call light call light is the small button where which is on above your seat okay uh, on the top that is used when you need some assistance okay so once you press that the cabin crew or the flight attendant would come for your assistance okay so that is called as the call light we have flight entertainment flight entertainment is uh, you know we have these small lcd screens many aircrafts especially long distance flights do offer flight entertainment okay we have these small screens on the back of the seats in front of you okay and uh, you can play music you do receive headsets okay you can ask for headsets uh, from the flight attendants and you can use this in order to listen to music or play some movies okay so that's called flight entertainment 
We also have refreshments. Refreshments are usually uh, provided to the passengers in short distance flights. These are drinks and snacks, okay? They're not full meals, okay? So it's just maybe like a sandwich or maybe just like a small burger, okay? So and with a drink, okay? So those are called as refreshments, okay? They are not the full meals that are served. And then the last one that we have is touchdown. So after your whole journey, of course, we are ready to land, okay? So that is when again, uh, the flight attendant would request you to fasten your seat belts, right? And when they are ready to land. So touchdown is basically when the flight lands, okay, the wheels touch the ground. So you, you would, you know, hear passengers saying, oh, it was such a smooth touchdown. So this means it was such a smooth landing. So these are certain words that you should know when you are traveling by an aircraft. So the next time you are taking a flight, hope this vocabulary session is helpful to you. I will see you soon in your next lesson. Till then, you take care and have a great day.